Buying and setting up HiFi can be a confusing and daunting process. Throughout this five-part series, we talk to experts in the industry about some of the tips, tricks, and some of the myths. The source in a HiFi is where your music comes from. We're going to look at the main options, which are streaming, compact disc, and to celebrate Record Store Day, vinyl. There's no wrong way of consuming music. I think either way that you do it, if you love it, you're just going to fall in love with it. The most effective use of your money is to minimise the total number of sources that you have and then maximise the quality. A third on the speakers, third on the amplification, third on the source. You just want to minimise the weakest link. We definitely sell more records than CDs nowadays, but CDs are still a staple. Some albums you still can only get on CDs. <laughs> the way I've kind of grown up listening to music was always with CDs. <laughs> and CDs have largely become really outdated now. I don't think that a lot of people have CD players in their cars anymore. I like to play CDs still. Yeah, I, I, I like the sound of CD transport. CDs don't hold high resolution audio. So if you want to get to the newer gold standard in sound from the point of view of digital file types, which is high resolution, uh, then you need to have that from a streaming service or from a download service. It's quick and easy. You know, everybody's got a phone in their pocket these days and you can basically just throw music at your speaker. I think what's really important is trying to find high quality services, but they also have a very large amount of content. I will listen to everything on Spotify first and then if I, if I like it, I'll go and buy the CD. When I'm streaming, I'm listening to curated playlists, I'm trying to discover new things, I'm tapping into new artists that might even not have a physical product yet. Set it to high quality streaming because it's not the default setting on some of the main ones. You can buy amplifiers that just have Spotify built in or Tidal Connect built in. Uh, you can buy dedicated audio streamers at the opposite end of the scale, which can be plugged into an amplifier in the same way as you plug a CD player or a record player into an amplifier. I think I'm probably similar to a lot of people, so I do a lot of streaming. Um, I still have my CD collection um, and I have a record player, so I have a small number of records that I promised my wife would never be more than that, and it's now that many, and it is growing. It's not the worst thing you can spend your money on. <laughs> I've never sold any vinyl that I ever bought. Record Store Day has played a big part in uh, having vinyl research. There's much more to it because you've got like the sleeve and you know, there's, it's, it's the complete package for me. It's the warmth that you get from vinyl compared to CD. It's not about what you play, it's about how it makes you feel when you play. I want to hear music the way it's supposed to sound. I don't want the gear to get in the way of that. I would urge anyone to try lots of different sources. Listen to the same record on CD, vinyl, stream it. Don't worry too much about the specs. Just get in there, have a listen and form your own opinion.